month here we are doing our finished goods inventory budget um, because obviously that's going to have to go on the quarterly financial statement uh, or pro forma that we make up although we're not going to do a cash budget but you would want to know that so we got to figure out our cost per unit so let's do that first so here's our cost per unit so we know direct materials uh, we know part 29 we need two at four dollars each so that's gonna be eight dollars we know part C30 was seven dollars so three times seven so we know that's gonna be twenty one dollars we remember our direct labor was twenty dollars it takes an hour and a half to make a unit so that's thirty dollars per unit on the direct labor overhead as we recall, it was 390, um, and so 1.5 is 585. Fixed cost per unit, we have to calculate because what we calculated was the total, 485, 400, and we know we got 53,700 units. So we're just going to divide that. I already did that for you down here. It comes out to rounded. Um, nine dollars and four cents so one and a half times nine point oh four equals thirteen fifty six so our total unit cost is seventy eight dollars and forty one cents per unit so it, to make a harness it costs seventy eight dollars and forty one cents so that's great we can use that to figure out our ending inventory um, way back we did our budgets right we said we wanted to have an ending inventory of 3200 at the end of the quarter All right so we want to have 3200 and it's 78 41 so 3200 times 7841 is 250 912. So if you were budgeting your ending inventory at the end of the quarter, you would expect it to be on the balance sheet at 250,912. Uh, we're getting close. We just need to schedule our cost of goods sold and then we'll do an income statement and we're almost done